Hey everybody, Scotty here. Um, I just spent maybe 10 hours experimenting with the Adder Dragon, um, and I, I figured out an easy way to kill this beast without taking any damage to your main party whatsoever. Now, now I gotta warn you, this is gonna take maybe an hour to do, but it is guaranteed to kill the Adder Dragon. Um, you, you could, like I said, it it could be done on any difficulty easy to the hardest um, but there are going to be a few things that you need you are going to need a chanter a ranger ranger's companion of course what comes with it and turn off mm -hmm. all the AI on your party so that way they won't go auto attack if that's what they're controlled to do now on your chanter you want the level one chance set up so that way you can pretty much get your uh, chant levels up as quickly as possible. When you're ready send your ranger's companion up towards um, the main area where the dragon is. The dragon will come out, initiate dialogue. I'm just going to go straight into combat. There's no, there's no need to do the dialogue. Read it I mean. All right. When you're ready again, send the send your companion right back up there. But you want to you want to kind of kite it away from your party. Take it up to the very top. Ignore the ads. And if you see the little purple dot there in the fog of war, that's where you can see where the dragon is. So if it's getting too close to your party, you know when to pull it back. While you're doing all this, you need to pay attention to your chanter's level. Once it reaches level five, um, right. cast. Oh yeah, you're gonna need Drake too, because Drakes have a crazy amount of health. Also, watch some of your party members. They may try to attack the dragon or just kind of go up in that way. So you want to send them back. Uh, send your Drake over to take out the bottom right ads, because those priests can have a stun attack. And it's pretty, pretty nasty to deal with during combat. Have the drake kite them over towards them, towards your party. Oh yeah, your it's okay if your ranger's pet dies. I mean your companion dies. It's it's totally cool. All right, just keep spamming drake. Take out the ads, and when you're pretty much ready, just focus your drake on the Adra dragon it may deal anywhere from it's gonna miss majority of the time because it's only for me it was only like a 19 percent hit chance which is very low but it's still a chance to hit now, <clears throat> now after dragon has got about close to 600 health so if if your drake does hit it's gonna do between for me it was three and 19 damage is how much I got it to so see if if the dragon does get close to your party, just send just send whatever summon you have to get that dragon's attention and lure it away. You want to lure it away from the party, and that was actually a very good catch. So if that got if that dragon got near my party, it it would have pretty much wiped. There's nothing I could have done. Because this boss is very difficult if you try to do it the traditional way. But this is a broken way to do the game. This is very broken. It's cheating. I mean, it's it's not necessarily cheating the system. What? Well, no, it is cheating the system, but it's not cheating the game. The game is built built on rules and logic, so we're using its own rules and logic against it. Now, this is um, 3.0 build, but it will also work on uh, pre 3.0 builds. Like I said, any difficulty, any build, uh, any patch, whatever. Um, just need Chanter, Drake, uh, level one chance, a ranger, that's it. So, I'll kind of speed up the battle and we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching.